That right there is the magical formula, not only getting her to know, like, and trust you, but also have that underlying sexual tension there. Okay. My God, you guys are gonna love this video because not only am I gonna show you, uh, let's say a little conversational game that I love using every time I'm either on a first date with a girl or whenever I just meet a girl, maybe I just approached her, we had a little bit of banter, but I wanna slow things down a little bit, get her to know, like, and trust me on top of that underlying sexual tension that we already got. Well, I really love busting out what I'm about to teach you guys, but before I get there, I have a special announcement for the future of raw dating advice in this channel specifically. By the way, if you're not subscribed, Hit subscribe because when you hear what I'm about to say, you're gonna wanna be around for what we have coming. So, we have a new upload schedule. In the past, I used to upload every day and then I kinda switched to once a week, but now that I'm growing my team and Raw Dating Advice is growing faster than ever, and I'm not saying this is the reason why, but it's definitely something that I wanna get under control is a consistent upload schedule. So here's the new schedule. Every single Monday, I'm gonna be uploading a video with a theme called Most Definitely Gonna Smash Mondays where you're gonna get a dating advice tip that's gonna help you most definitely smash on that Monday. And then every Winning at Life Wednesday, I'm gonna upload another video that's gonna be a little bit more generalized, a little bit more mindset, helping you grow as a person. That way, whatever you apply from Raw Dating Advice will not only help you with your dating life, but every area of life as well. Business, friendships, relationships, success. And then on Fridays, I'm gonna answer your questions with fucking A, it's Q&A Fridays. And I wanna rapid fire these things rather than doing just one standard long question like I've done in the past so if this is gonna work if you want to see your questions answered on fucking a it's Q&A Friday then on every single Monday and Wednesday I want you to leave the comments on the videos that way I can answer them on those Fridays and don't make these long paragraphs if there are four paragraphs in your comment I'm probably not gonna be able to rapid-fire that question and it probably won't get answered so make it short to the point and hopefully you know maybe stroke my ego a little bit because I love a little bit of flattery who doesn't let's get into the meat and bones of your first ever most definitely gonna smash Monday. And I want to teach you something that I call the questions game. Now, I'll admit, I am not the first one to invent the questions game, nor am I the first person to ever teach it. But in this video, I'm going to give you my unique twists on the game. And if you want to check out the origination of the actual game, the questions game, it's been around for a couple of decades now. I first read about it in the mystery method, which came out a couple of decades ago. Mystery is like the original pickup artist. And you don't have to be a pickup artist to use this game that I'm about to teach you. Because here's the thing, man, for any successful let's call it a seduction. If you want to date this girl or sleep with her, it doesn't really matter wherever you want to lead it, but if you want this to go past just a few minutes of high charge banter conversation, she has to not only feel that tension with you, um, so that way she can feel attraction for you, but she also has to know, like, and trust you. And that's where the questions game comes in, is once you already know there's a little bit of underlying chemistry and sexual tension there, then you slow things down. You isolate her a little bit, you sit down next to her, and you guys, start talking and maybe swapping stories. But then in the middle of that, you just kind of interrupt and you go almost like this thought just popped up in your head. You say, by the way, have you ever played the questions game before? Most people are going to say no because I know this has been around for a little bit, but most people do not ever really play the questions game. Most people don't play conversational games. And I'll tell you what, in 2019 when I'm recording this video and I foresee this being the way um, for a long time to come, People, especially women, love games and they love quizzes. This is why you always scroll through Facebook and you see those personality quizzes because people love doing those things. So when you say, have you ever played the questions game, it's going to hit, give her a little spark of intrigue. She's gonna be like, no, I haven't, what is that? And that's where you go, no way, you haven't heard of it? All right, that's it, we're playing right now. All right, you're leading the conversation here. And you say, there are three rules to the game, but basically the gist of the game is, I'm gonna ask you a question, you're gonna answer, and then you're gonna ask me a question, and I answer, and so on. So the three rules are, no boring questions. So no asking, uh, what's your favorite color, what's your dog's name, what's your favorite restaurant to eat at, those are boring questions. No asking the same question as the other person. And then final rule, if you can handle this, is no skeletons left in the closet, all right? Most of the time when you get through, through those rules, she's gonna wanna play, and then you say, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can handle it. You know what, let's just forget I even brought it up. And what you're doing is you're taking it away, making her qualify herself, making her go, no, no, I wanna play, it sounds fun, let's play, all right? Now she's the one who wants to play more than you. Who's chasing who in that interaction? So, that said, all you gotta do is say, all right, you go first. 
most of the time she's not gonna wanna go first, but it's just one of those ways to uh, playfully spark a little tension. This is just a playful game that you guys are playing. All right, and so I have a list of questions that I wanna, that I recommend asking. You don't have to ask these in any specific order, but here's generally what I tend to recommend for the questions game specifically, is I wanna start off light and then get more sexual as I go, but I'm not gonna start off boring. Again, no boring questions. And most girls are gonna want you to go first, even though you said, all right, you go first, that's fine. Just go first, all right? Just hit her with the first question right away, all right? You want me to go first? All right, I'll go first. And then you hit her with the first question. But the reason why she wants you to go first most of the time is because she's gonna wanna see if you're gonna be the man who can take it to a sexual level and isn't afraid to take it there because the nice guy, the guy who gets friend zone, the guy who doesn't ever spark sexual attraction or sexual tension with women, He's afraid to take it there. He's afraid to bring up sexual topics because he's not used to the topic of sex. He's not comfortable with it. And more importantly, when he does finally bring it up, he's afraid to change the topic because he's like, well, if I change it, I don't know if we'll ever come back here, so I wanna bask in this, right? The guy who's sexually abundant can bring up sex like it's no big deal, and he can also stop talking about sex and change the topic instantly like it's no big deal, all right? So here's some questions that I recommend, and in fact, the questions that I'm gonna give you literally come straight out of chapter 63 in my book where I explain the questions game in detail. So here's a list of questions that I recommend. It's not all the questions, and in fact, I'm gonna give you a way to put this game on steroids here in a second after I read this, these questions. So here's some good questions to ask that you can ask in the questions game, and the beauty of it is she can't ask any of the same questions, so you're really gonna be able to qualify her and test her on her creation Creativity to match you on these good questions that you're gonna ask her. So one, what is your favorite sexual position? Tell me a secret even your best friend doesn't know about you. When is the last time you masturbated? What is the most adventurous thing you've done? When is the last time you did something that scared you? What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you in your childhood? How old were you when you lost your virginity? What is the craziest thing you've ever done? What is your secret fantasy? Where is the craziest place you've ever had sex? What is something you've always wanted to do but never had the chance to? Why are you so attracted to me right now? You don't have to ask those verbatim. You can come up with your own, but now you kind of see the general vibe of like what questions I want to ask and how I'm formulating these questions because here's the thing man anytime I'm asking questions or qualifying a girl especially in a seduction whether it's a first date or you approach her at a bar or you met her at a grocery store it doesn't fucking matter I'm always wanting to qualify for one of the three um, let's just call them traits that really just make a girl more open to uh, new experiences with you and that is adventurous spontaneous and independent. If I can get a girl to admit to me or tell me stories of a time that she was adventurous, spontaneous, and independent, that right there is the magical formula. Not only getting her to know, like, and trust you, but also have that underlying sexual tension there. So that said, a little personal damaging confession here is I've used this so many times in the past, hundreds if not thousands of times on different women of all different shapes, sizes, nationalities, and different parts of the nation. And here's the thing, man, I love it. It's one of those things that I've gotten the most consistent results with when I, every time I use it it almost always gets a positive response but that is a warning because I don't want you to become reliant on this I don't want you to have to use this as a crutch because what if you meet a girl who doesn't necessarily respond to this game or she doesn't want to play the game or she's played it before and it's kind of lost its allure then you want to be able to know how to carry the conversation in an attractive way without needing the questions game as a crutch to your game so like I told you I already teach the game uh, in detail even even more detail than, than I've taught it in this video in chapter 63 of this book and if you want to take it to the next level I highly recommend combining it with chapter 37 the ultimate takeaway if you can combine the ultimate takeaway with the questions game that right there is the magical formula and like the theme of today's video when you combine those two together you're most definitely gonna smash on this Monday so that said if you want to grab this book I want to give you a copy of it for free we have 500 copies in stock and they're going Fast. So if you want to claim your copy for free, just go to howtogetthegirlnow.com. All you got to do is cover shipping and handling, and we'll ship this book to you anywhere in the world. And if you're one of those guys who doesn't want to wait for shipping, then you'll also have the option to just grab the ebook so you can start going through this as soon as tonight, as well as getting all the other digital bonuses that you can read about at howtogetthegirlnow.com. So that said, I'm going to get out of here, man. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on Wednesday for Winning at Life Wednesday. And if you want to see your question answered on fucking A, it's Q&A. A Friday, then leave those questions below and make sure they're short to the point and then we'll rapid fire answer those questions on Friday. So subscribe if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video, my man. Peace out. Okay.